A new breakthrough pill is giving hope to those with peanut allergies. After years of research, the experimental drug made by a Bay Area company is now ready for FDA approval. KPIX Maria Medina with How It Works and the review. He just immediately reacted. It was a very um, scary uh, reaction he had. One bite of peanuts and it could be life-threatening for Amir DeBoer. I start like coughing a lot because my like uh, throat closes. Swelling up his face, his body swelling, hives everywhere. And just in case the 13-year-old and his mom carry an EpiPen. Well, it's kind of scary. You always have to be on guard and you know, always have to check uh, food labels very carefully. But now Amir and many others who suffer from a peanut allergy are learning an experimental drug that may help build their tolerance to peanuts over time is ready for U.S. FDA review. We're excited. It looks like it may get approved sometime mid next year. Dr. June Zhang is an allergy immunologist with the South Bay Allergy and Asthma Group, where she says parents are already asking when and if the promising pill will be available. Here's how it works. The pill contains a peanut protein. That dose is increased over time with the goal of building peanut tolerance. So it gives them some protection. Um, it's desensitizing their body so their bodies not recognize it as completely foreign. But Dr. Zhang warns this is not a cure. They cannot eat, you know, as much as they want. They have to stay, you know, really still stay away, still carry their EpiPen every day. That's very exciting to know. I, I you know, I wish that would be approved <laughs> immediately. I'm still, if approved by the FDA, the drug would be the first of its kind prescription. Amir says it would open doors to things and food he's avoided all his life. That'd be life changing. That'd be amazing. Maria Medina, KPIX 5. Now, Dr. Zhang says the pill would only be available for those older than four years old, and it could take months before insurance companies would cover the prescription.